Hi everyone, in this lecture, I am going to give a small introduction about the digital electronic circuits for the gate preparation or simply digital circuits. Now, uh, if we see the marks wise performance, the minimum marks from this uh, digital circuits is we will get 6 marks and the maximum is 11 marks, right? And average we will get the 8 marks. So, it is included the dig digital circuits as well as the microprocessors. Now, if I see the gate 2017 set 1, we got 11 marks that is 8 from the this digital electronic circuit and 3 from the 3 marks from the microprocessors. And in set 2, uh, only from the digital circuits we got 9 marks, right? So, this is about the marks wise in gate 2017. So, the minimum or we can say average will get 8 marks, there is no doubt at all. Now, from this 8 marks, the 50 percent is very easy. Right, so by seeing the question, we can easily solve once you know the concept. Right, so the remaining uh, now 50%. So we have to do the uh, the practice more and from the sequential circuits. Right, so in the sequential circuits, if we do more practice, then the 50%, the remaining 50% is also easy. Right, now we will see what is the syllabus we need to cover. The first one is the number systems that is what are the different number systems are available in digital electronics right so like a binary number or decimal number systems or octal or hexadecimal or any other systems also we can represent any number system right so in the number system how many numbers are possible suppose if i take the decimal number so 0 to 9 the numbers are there so using those numbers we can represent any number similarly binary number system means only two numbers that is either 0 or 1 similarly uh, ternary means 0 1 2 3 numbers octal means 0 to 7 hexadecimal means say total 16 that is 0 to 9 and the remaining so 0 to 15 generally so how they will specify so how to represent or how to convert from one number system to another number system right and uh, we will also see the complements in this number systems only how to uh, find one's complement or two's complement etc that we have to see right uh, the next one is boolean algebra right so what are the theorems available so when you, you know when you are uh, designing an electronic digital electronic circuits right so when we are uh, implementing some logic functions so so what is the identity identities we need to use what are the theorems we need to use right so that we need to see that is like a uh, de morgan's laws right so mm -hmm. what is the uh, what you call distribution the law or commutative law or associative law different different no it is should be in only in digitals only right so for the when we design a digital circuit so what what is the logics we need to follow and what is the theorems we need to follow that we need to discuss and how to minimize of the function suppose if you want to implement any function so how to minimize these uh, bigger functions to you no know, small uh, number of literals or small number of uh, variables right so the how to minimize using these boolean identities then comes the logic gates right so what are the different types of logic gates suppose if you want to do some operations right so how many logic gates required to do one operation or right so what is the behind of this now how to perform different logical operations using these codes etc we need to cover then the next one is k map that is karnaf map right so any logical uh, no four variable or three variable functions can be minimized using this karnaf map right how to minimize right uh, what is the sum of products or pro product of sums right standard sop standard pos right that also we need to cover the next uh, two circuits are one is combinational circuits and sequential circuits now in combination circuits we need to discuss the adders, subtractors, multipliers, right? And the converters, code converters. So what is the use of these code converters? Then multiplexers, then decoders, right? And uh, what are the programmable logical arrays or uh, programmable logical devices? That also we need to see. So combination circuit means so present inputs, present outputs only, right? Now when we go for the sequential circuits, right? So we need to... Uh, uh, what you call find the or uh, we need to study the what are the memory elements in the digitals how to store the bit of information or single bit storage information how to store right depending on uh, what are the conditions right 
and the sequential circuits is combination of the combination circuits plus memory elements that is flip flops and uh, different types of sequence circuit that is counter shift registers then the very important uh, this uh, topic is finite state machines right so depending on the present state and the input what is the next state so that finite state machines like uh, Moore and Miele machines we need to uh, study this uh, you know, finite state machines the next concept that is data converters that is uh, analog to digital converters or digital to analog converters so that also we need to study what are the different types of ADCs or DACs that is digital to analog converters next one is semiconductor memories so so different types of memories are there that is the ROM and the RAM so in ROM what are the conditions or uh, now what is the architecture similarly the RAM so architecture as well as different types of RAM that is static RAM and dynamic RAM right so this is also important you know the present VLSI trends are working on this some semiconductor memories right so that also we need to discuss then the next one is microprocessor and uh, we need to uh, discuss only 8085 that is architecture so what is the 8085 architecture how many pins in the right etc we need to discuss similarly how to program right suppose if you want to add two bits or uh, no, multiply or move or shift so how to write a program then how to interface either memory or io port that is input or output right so how to interface different different peripherals that also we need to discuss now if you see in gate 2017 we got set one from the three marks i mean from set one we got three marks from from the microprocessors in set two there is uh, no question but generally we will get at least one question from this microprocessors right so so anyway set one they have given three marks so they did not give any question for set two right but we get a question from this uh, microprocessors right so that also we'll discuss now what are the test books we need to follow is digital design by morris Mano, the standard test book right so you can take uh, the third edition or fourth edition so this is digital design by morris Mano. For more uh, no, problem you need to follow or refer is the switching theory logic design by A. Anand Kumar. So in this textbook, so we'll get so many problems or solved either solved problems or unsolved problems. If we try to do all the numericals uh, in this textbook or in this also, right? This is this is a very important uh, no uh, textbook. So we need to do the exercise problems in this either solved or example or unsolved one first we need to do that one then uh, we have to do the for practice purpose from this test book also that is switching theory and logic design by A. Anand Kumar right so we need to follow these two test books suppose uh, something is missing some concept is missing in the test book so we can find here or if we are find any missing concept here so we can find first my preference is follow this one now if you are not able to understand from this book so go for the second one right so this is about the some introduction about the either uh, syllabus or uh, marks wise uh, performance now uh, i will uh, parallelly deal with this uh, digital electronic circuits and electronic devices because uh, the number systems are boolean algebra logic gate so only we need a small uh, you know, concepts about this uh, either transistor or uh, uh, gay i mean what you call diode so uh, i think we can cover this without you uh, know studying the edc also that is electronic devices uh, because it's a very easy subject so we can easily get or uh, we can easily get marks from these subjects that's why that's why we uh, cover parallelly these subjects also